Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Addictive Keys, and in particular, the Mark I electric piano from Addictive Keys. I'm going to give you a brief tour and a couple pointers about how to use it and, and how I particularly like to use it. A couple of the main features that are really useful, especially if you're producing music in hip-hop, soul, R&B, lo-fi, whatever have you. Okay, so let's dive in. We're going to pull up an initialized patch. Okay, so... Obviously, there's tons of great presets that come stock with Addictive Keys. You can make your own. I have my own pack. For right now, just to kind of show you around, we're going to start with an initialized patch. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this drop-down menu here, and we're going to go to Mark 1. So here we just have like a regular... And right here, we're using the line input. The first thing that I like to do is I actually like to disengage the release samples because I like to have my release be really tight. So I'm gonna uncheck release samples and now I'm gonna pull this back just so I have a little bit of release. For my playing style, I like it when it's a little bit snappier. So off the bat, you have a really nice, clean electric piano sound. Super useful in almost any scenario. They recorded the samples in a bunch of different ways. So for example, you can use line, you can use an amp with a tube, uh, tube mic, close rhythm, close dynamic, close tube, even through one of those great dimensioned chorusy units and uh, PZM mics. So all these sound different, and you can also combine them over here with three different positions. So off the bat, there's a ton of ways to create sound just from the different uh, mic and line sources. I personally normally just use one because that's all I really need. And I have a real electric piano right here, and there's just one output. And that always sounds great to me. I'll say that I definitely kind of gravitate towards this close ribbon mic. Let's talk about distortion and drive. Uh, typically with electric piano, at some point along the signal chain, you're gonna have some overdrive saturation to kind of give it that sound. I mean, in the 70s, you know, people were just pushing, pushing those faders because that's what you did back then. But we can simulate that now if we uh, go here to uh, compress and distort. I like this tube simulator and let's just see what it sounds like with the pre-mapped settings. Pretty great. So the mix is halfway up, mount's halfway up. I'd probably bring that amount down just a little bit, maybe and increase the mix a little bit. So down here, get that nice bark. Cool, so if you wanted to use like iron transformer, it's gonna be even more saturated. So I'm gonna stick with this too. I'm going to introduce just a touch of compression. Gives it a nice punch. Now I'm going to add just a touch of EQ. I'm going to take out a little bit of the bottom. Also going to boost it a little bit down there. Characteristically of like, you know, 70s roads would be to emphasize anywhere between like 700 hertz and uh, 2K. Bring out that bite a little bit. <laughs> That's some... Um, Chick Korea lick. Uh, learned that from the great pianist Jeff Keezer. All right, let's dive into some stuff that can make your patch a bit more unique. This is what I like to do. Um, on the Nord Stage 3, they have a wonderful vibe unit uh, over here. And it comes from the old Vibrolo units from back in the day. And it just it adds some subtle pitch uh, uh, warbling. And what's cool about Addictive Keys is that in essence, you have all major synthesis capabilities within the plugin. So what we can do is if we go over into the pitch section, we can introduce some 
pitch vibrato. And if we, you'll see, I'm gonna put this a little high so you can. Okay, that doesn't sound very musical. I mean, maybe in certain situations, but not all the time. I wanna put the rate pretty low. And now I'm gonna bring down the depth. So now we're entering that sort of dreamy sound. Subtle pitch modulation really can kind of add a, a wonderful feeling to your music. So that's definitely one way to get some vibrolo effect happening. Next thing I love is this noise unit over here. Many of you probably are hip to the RC20, which Excellent Audio makes. That's a, one of my favorite plugins. They've implemented that a little bit into this plugin. So for example, if you wanna have some vinyl crackle, really good vinyl crackle on your electric piano sound, uh, you can do it. And it sounds like this. And then this decay right here, basically it follows you playing. So as you can see, if I have this higher, when I play a note, the vinyl sample is gonna decay slowly, but we could have it tighter. I like to keep it tighter because I, then it's more like I'm playing a sample. There's two different types of tape. There's also these. Without even getting the RC20, you already have access to that idea within the plugin itself. Lastly, there's a, you know another effects unit right here. You can do tremolo, uh, more compression, distortion, chorus, phaser, all great effects. Uh, you know if you wanted to do panning. And lastly, there's two effects here which you can do delays or reverbs or a combination of the two. And there's an EQ for each one. So the sonic sculpting that you have within this plugin is incredibly vast. And um, the more you learn how to craft your own tones, the more unique your artistry will be. Because not only are you creating your music if you're writing your songs, but you're also writing your sounds. Now we're going to check out the reverb. So we have hall, plate, ambient, and room. Go with the hall, bring that decay way up, and add some pre-delay, and I'm also gonna take out some of that low end. So there you go, those are the basics of the building blocks of the Addictive Keys Mark I. And I have a whole pack. I've made 25 presets uh, that kind of show a large scope of what the instrument is capable of doing. Everything from regular dry electric piano to turning this into a bass instrument and doing like 808 stuff. It's an electric piano, but because it's a synthesis plugin, you can manipulate it to do that. I've got a bunch of presets for like tape electric piano. And even stuff like, uh, here's like a Nashville type pedal steel electric piano. So, I mean, that doesn't sound like an electric piano, but I, I sure like the way it sounds. Um, and even like, you know, auto wah stuff. Simple, just. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Hope you can get Addictive Keys Mark I. It's a great instrument. My 25 presets are available from my website, j3po.net. Big shout out to XLN. Big shout out to Splice. I'm Julian J3PO Pollock, and thanks for watching.